This is Roger Del Martin, and you guys are tuning in to Grit and Gristle. Today we're going to be focused on the shoulders. We're going to be looking at exercises, but right off the bat, first things first. You are not your own, believe it or not. If you've got the Holy Spirit inside of you, it was given to you as a gift. You were bought at a price, and therefore, what we should do is honor God with our bodies. <clears throat> we accept who we are. Are we thin? We're happy about it. Are we heavy? We're happy about that too. Are we muscular? We're happy about that because God knit us together in our mother's room. Psalm tells us that. Psalms also says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. If God says we're wonderful, guess what? I believe that. <clears throat> and I'm going to call myself wonderful. It's thin to win, heavy as a big levy, and muscular as big army. Okay? <clears throat> so, People, some people don't like caffeine. I'm not one of them. I like caffeine. I think caffeine, uh, not, it's almost an essential nutrient, but not quite. Today we're going to be looking at Headbangers Brew. Honey, could you hand me the Headbangers Brew? Intense coffee. Now this is coffee we drink here at Sanctuary International Matrix. A whole panel of experts taste different coffees, and they came up with the one that was their favorite, and this is it, Headbangers Brew. It's intense, it's a dark roast, and it's what we love. <clears throat> a lot of people don't know that all the proceeds from the Headbangers Coffee goes to the homeless ministry. We're talking what city? Nashville, Tennessee. Up underneath the bridge, there's a ton of homeless people. They're always hungry, they always need help, and we're there to help them. So you buy some Headbangers Coffee, you're buying a meal for a homeless person. Thank you, I really appreciate you doing that. Here you go, babe. <clears throat> Right. Now, <clears throat> there's no sense in talking about coffee if not going to drink it. This is a French press. There is Headbangers Brew inside. We're going to push the plunger. And we've been working out, so it's easy. Right there. Maybe could you hand me a cup? Thank you, sweetheart. There we go. Now, while I'm pouring this, yeah, I want to thank the CEO, the president of Fish Productions, is here with us today, Mr. Larry Fish. Thank you for being here, brother. I appreciate it. Uh, he is the director, and uh, we've got it all set up here at the house. And Heidi, right there, if you'll take that from me, thank you. Awesome. Now, there, there's four ways to test coffee. And the first one was the color test. As I was pouring that, I was checking out the color. Now, I like a certain color, not necessarily black and not necessarily light brown, but somewhere right in the middle. That's what I like, and that's what it was. I was like, oh, this is going to be good. The next test is the aroma test. Oh, man, that's so good. Heidi, mm, this is good. And then we taste the sweetness, but you got to be careful. It's just the very tip of your tongue. Mm, just right. And then we have a full sip. That's good. Woo! Awesome. I went on a pontoon boat trip this uh, on Sunday, which was what three days ago, two days ago. Today's Wednesday. Fantastic. Had a great time. People were asking me about fitness, and uh, there was one lady who very interested. She said, "Roger, should I get some dumbbells? Should I get kettlebells? Should I get some barbells? What do I need to get?" <clears throat> well, today we're going to be looking at. Dumbbells. I like dumbbells. Um, <clears throat> kettlebells, kettlebells are something that use a lot of momentum. I'm not into momentum. Basically, here at Grit Griddle, we're, we're thinking about contraction and extension rather than swinging and getting something from point A to point B. That is what we do, but our mental focus is way different. I like dumbbells. Okay, barbells are good. Dumbbells are something that people can't afford. Uh, I got a couple of dumbbells right here. <clears throat> they, these are 10 pounders. As you can see, there's some uh, paint splatter on it. Do I care? No, I don't care. And if you want to buy some used dumbbells somewhere, it's exactly the same. I mean, they might not be super pretty, but <clears throat> like we are, but <clears throat> they work just as well, okay? I like these, I've had these for a while. I got these, um, at a store, and I'm not even going to say their name, but you can get them in stores, you can get them uh, at flea markets, you can get you some dumbbells. 
Also, the question was, Roger, what size or how heavy should I get these dumbbells? And I thought, that's a very good question. Now, a lot of people are not very strong, okay? And if you're not real strong, uh, we'll start with some lighter dumbbells. This is, this is two pound dumbbells. You can get one pound, two pound, three pound, four pound dumbbells. There's a number two right on the end. Uh, uh, and it fits your hand pretty good. Um, we're gonna do some exercises with dumbbells. And uh, there's lots of questions I get. Heidi likes to ask me questions. Heidi, would you ask me a question? How do I know how to pick my dumbbells out? What weight do I pick what out? What weight? Okay, we'll start. I think a good way to check out your dumbbells is to do a simple exercise called curls. All right? And I like hammer curls. A curl, a hammer curl is an exercise that works your biceps. <clears throat> and basically we're gonna take these dumbbells, we're gonna drop them to the side, feet about shoulder width apart, and you're, you're thinking, what do you wanna want to buy? Okay, and we're gonna do some hammer curls. Boom, just like this. They call them hammer curls, but it's like swinging a hammer. Like, pow, 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 you're driving in a nail. Uh, these are regular curls, hammer curls. Your hands are in a pronated position, just like this. You wanna keep your elbows to the side, feet about shoulder width apart, and let's bring them up like this. We do not wanna swing up like this. Don't do this. Well, this is the lower back exercise. <clears throat> and a very poor one. So we want to stabilize this upper body, bring these suckers forward, there's your contraction, we're going to stretch them out. We want a full range of motion, you guys, which means you want to go all the way up and you want to go all the way down. That's a full range of motion. A short range of motion would be something like this. You're not going all the way up, you're not going all the way down. I'm focusing on how that muscle feels. Even though we're getting the, the weight from point A, to point B, that's not my focus. Focus is on feeling that muscle contract. Let's go this way with it. Let's do a curl this way. We, we must focus on contraction, which is the flex. That's a contraction. And then we focus on the extension, which you stretch that muscle out. Contraction and extension. You want to feel it. Now, when you're picking out a dumbbell, you want to go for something, this is, okay, this is real easy for me. So I might think, I want to get a bigger dumbbell. And so, uh, all of a sudden, I'll swap some five pound dumbbells. And I'm like, okay, let's try these out. What did Roger say? Feet shoulder width apart, keep these elbows close to the side, hammer curls, boom. Okay, I'm not swinging, I'm going up and I'm going down, full range of motion, and I'm thinking, you know what? I think I'm a little bit stronger than this. Let's try some different size dumbbells. So I'll put these down. All of a sudden, I go, Whoo. Here is a pair of 10 pound dumbbells. Let's see how these things work. All right, what did Roger say? Feet shoulder width apart. <clears throat> Chest up. And let's bring them up. Actually, focusing on contraction, poo, and extension. Woo, this just feels good, and this is pretty challenging, okay? I like that, so I'm gonna get a set of 10-pound dumbbells. And guess what? I'm gonna buy the five-pounders too, and I'll leave the two-pounders there because that's not really gonna help me so much, so it's all relative. Uh, you know, people say, I'm lifting heavy, and uh, well, they're lifting 50 pounds. Well, that may be light to someone who's Arnold Schwarzenegger and he's lifting 100 pounds and it may be really heavy to me and I'm lifting 10 pounds. So it's all relative. Heavy weights are relative, okay? Also, I want you guys to know, we are not in competition with ourselves. No, no, no. <laughs> We're not in competition with other people. That's what I meant to say. We are in competition with ourselves. I've said this before, we want to present to the world the best Roger Dale Martin that the world has ever seen, or if your name is Larry Fish, the director and the CEO of Fish Productions, you want to present the best Larry Fish the world has ever seen. And that's what we want to do. Not compare ourselves with others, because that's not wise. God made us a certain way, and we're proud of it. And we want, if we're an ectomorph like I am, I want to be 
a lean ectomorph because it's easier for me to get lean because I'm an ectomorph. I want to have as much muscle as possible, and that's the challenge for us ectomorphic folks, is to have as much muscle as possible. Also, if you're heavy, you've got muscle there, and there's a, normally there's a layer of fat on top. Our focus, if we're heavy, is to drop as much body fat as possible. Okay, that uh, it will be the hard thing to do. And we want to have as much muscle too. We, we don't want to lose any of this good, heavy muscle, dense muscle, but we want to be as low as body fat as possible. For you muscular guys, uh, what I want to see is flipping you. God has blessed you. And if you don't really get into super shape, shame, shame on you. No kidding. Uh, you, you have a physique, uh, wide shoulders, and small hips for a reason. And that's not to get out of shape, and that's not to eat garbage. You're just like we are. Honor God with your bodies. Be as muscular as possible, be as lean as possible, and be as humble as possible. Okay? Thank you very much. All right, today we're going to look at the shoulders. Uh, there was a saying at one time, uh, oh, decades back, and, and the saying was, shoulders make the man. And I realized, what does that mean, shoulders make the man? Um, first of all, God designed us with these clavicles. You got short ones or you got long ones. That's how wide your shoulders are. Not necessarily how much, you can put muscle on and widen your shoulders. But there's only so much you can do, okay? Now, if you've uh, got really wide shoulders, I wouldn't focus so much on side deltoids, okay? Because y you, will, uh, you will distort that nice line you have, that nice V-shape. I would keep everything fine, boom, and, and focus on keeping everything tight, okay? So that's our focus. Shoulders. Deltoids. If you, if you, every time I think of the word deltoid, I think of delta. Uh, and if you've ever been in a fraternity, which I have not, but I've went to college before, these, these fraternities had, one of them I remember was called Delta Chi Delta. And Delta was like a triangle. In fact, the Mississippi Delta, where the blues came from, it's like a triangle down there. It's why it's called the Delta. And these are called deltoids. There's three points on a delta, three points on a triangle, and there's three muscles in the shoulder area. What we have is this front muscle right here. I don't know if you can see, I don't know how, the, how everything looks in here, but you have this front deltoid muscle. There's three, there's one in the front, and there's one right at the side, and at the bottom, you got one right at the very bottom. Hopefully you can see it, all right? Okay, so we have an anterior deltoid, the front, medial deltoid, the side, and a posterior deltoid right at the very back. We're gonna train those with dumbbells. Basically, we're gonna isolate everything. And the first exercise I wanna show you is called side laterals. And we're, we're gonna just take the easy dumbbells here. For me, five pounders. A side lateral focuses on the medial deltoid. <clears throat> we're gonna do three sets of 10. Heidi, do you have a question for me? Yes. What is your question? Why can't I just do 30? Why, why do I have to have sets and reps? What are sets and reps? I don't even understand your question, sweetheart. <laughs> what are sets and reps? And why oh, okay, why there we go. What are sets and reps? Okay, all of a sudden, I'm, t I'm speaking Greek. I'm saying, oh, you could do three sets of 10. What the heck does that mean? I call a set, when we're doing an exercise, I say three sets of 10. Three sets, one repetition. Let me show you one repetition. This is one. I did one repetition. Let's do 10 repetitions and that will be one set. In other words, you've got 12 eggs and what do you call that? A dozen, okay? And if you tell somebody, what we have for breakfast, we're having three dozen eggs. Well, you know there's 12 in each dozen, okay? So we got 10 reps per set. You can do 20 reps per set. You can do 50 reps per set. I like 10 reps per set when it comes to side laterals. So let's do that shoulder width apart, you guys. And what we want to do with these side laterals <clears throat> is come up right here. You want to make a T with your body. 
I like to use a mirror. Uh, it, uh, the mirror, a lot of people, let, let, me, let me explain this real quick. Um, a lot of people say, oh, there's a bunch of narcissists in the gym. They're always looking themselves in the mirror, you know. Uh, well, stop. They're not narcissists. They're using the mirror as a tool. Right now, I don't have a mirror out here. And what I have to do is, uh, see, with the mirror, I can see. Okay, uh, to me, that feels like a T. I'm looking like a T. And without a mirror, I might be going up here with my reps. No, 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 no. This is too short. Okay, or I might be way up here. No, the perfect contraction is when you're straight across, just like that. Bam. Now, I've done a lot of these side laterals, so for me, that's just about right. It feels right. I've got a mind-muscle connection. I know pretty much where I'm at here. So let's call this number seven, eight, nine, and 10. That's one set. Now, after you do one set, I want you guys to wait one minute and rest. Do you have a question for me, honey? What am I supposed to do during that minute? What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to rest. You're supposed to catch your breath. Because in the beginning, when we're working out, things are pretty nice, things are easy. But once you progress and you're using heavier weights, you get a set of 10. Woo! Hang on. You know, you're like, Give yourself about 60 seconds. Now, I'm in not in jail for 60 seconds. When I'm really going heavy, I may wait two minutes. I may wait 120 seconds at the most of my rest time. If I'm really hitting it hard as possible, a three minute rest is as, as long as you need to take. So, but as most exercises uh, nowadays, and it's okay to look at a clock. Now, after you get more advanced, You'll, you'll understand, okay, I'm ready for the next set. But in the beginning, let's don't do that. If you have a clock or something with a second hand or on your cell phone, boom. You have a stopwatch. I use it all the time. And you just press it. And then once we get to 60 seconds, let's do another set. Okay, so let's go for it. Here comes set number two, side laterals. We're working the side deltoids. Feet about shoulder width apart. <clears throat> Chest up, and let's go. One, two, three. I like to get in a rhythm. Four, five. I'm not swinging up. I'm not using momentum, but it's all shoulders that's getting these dumbbells up. Seven, I'll call it seven. Eight, and nine. One more, you guys. Ten. Woo! All right. Boy. If you do these correctly, you're going to fear a tiredness in, in your muscles. Uh, I'm thinking about contraction, and I'm thinking about extension at the bottom. Contraction, I feel that. In other words, when you exert force, boom. And then contract that. I'm contracting this side deltoid, and then I'll bring it down. I'm doing some stretching. The dumbbells will stretch them out and bust it up again. We're going to go for three sets here pretty quick. Uh, Should I and, drink water? Okay, we have a question. Should I drink water? Should you drink water? Yes, I'll, I'll always drink a lot of water when you're training. Um, because even uh, if you're not much of a sweater, sometimes uh, it'll come out of you and evaporate real quick. So you always need to replenish your water supply. Uh, now for me personally, I do not use any kind of pre-workout drink, uh, post-workout drink. Um, Gatorade and stuff like that. For me personally, Gatorade makes me thirsty. Okay, it, it did nothing for me. Um, and so, use your discretion with those things. Uh, I like just pure old, good old fashioned hydrogen, two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. Agua, water. Okay, uh, fantastic. Okay, I have about 30 seconds. Let's do one more set. This is the third set of 10. Okay, remember, feet shoulder width apart. Hands down to the side. Uh, let's make this T. Remember, this is too high and this is too low. Let's bring it right here. One, two, nice. Three, we're in a rhythm with your breathing. Four, five, I'm feeling these shoulders. Six, woo, seven, eight are from Decatur. Nine, and number 10, boom, awesome. Okay. Now, these side deltoids are torched. Woo! So what I'm gonna do right now, 
All right, Woo. let's take a break. Let's do another minute break. I'm gonna get some water, but in my case, I'm gonna have some headbanger to brew. Baby, could you help me? Thank you, sweetheart. Ah. Mm. Ah. This is what I do in between sets. Ah. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Even Roger Del Martin says that's good. Vineyards Rising endorses Headbangers Brew. Mm. Awesome. Okay. Now we got the side deltoid taken care of. What's next, you say? Let's get this front delt. Front deltoids. Roger, how are we going to work these front delts? We're going to do what's called front laterals. Front laterals. You guys, you really need a mirror. Everybody's got a mirror. You could even go up to a, a pane glass somewhere where you can see a reflection because this one's different. I'm going, uh, I'll demonstrate this real quick. Front laterals will work this front shoulder muscle. And I'm going to kind of get down a little bit like this. Okay. Uh, dumbbells in the very front. And I want you to bring this up right here. If you are using a mirror, which I want you to, when you bring these dumbbells up, you want to block out your shoulders from your point of view. In other words, I'm looking at the mirror. I want these dumbbells to come right up here, and from my point of view, you're blocking out your shoulders. In other words, uh, that's too low because I can see my shoulders in the mirror. That's too high because I can see my shoulders in the mirror. Right there. Boom, that's it. If we don't swing these dumbbells up, remember, this is all about using this front muscle to get these weights from point A to point B, but we're focusing on contraction. Here's our contraction, and there's our extension. Two, three, nice rhythm. I'm feeling these front deltoids. Four, they're working it. Five, yo! Six, come on with number seven. Eight are from Decatur, number nine, and a big fat hen. Right there. Right the first three sets of 10. Wow, this front deltoid, Woo. shoulder baby, screaming at me. But that's okay, we're tough. We're full of grit and gristle. Got it, homies? Awesome. All right, we're gonna call it 30 seconds, 45. There's a minute gone by, let's get another set. Remember folks, feet shoulder width apart. Now I want you to hold these dumbbells together. Okay, a lot of people make the mistake of Apart, no, you hold these dumbbells together, and once you hold that dumbbell together, you're going to put these shoulders in the perfect, perfect place. Also, we're going to get a little pectoral development too in the process. Because when you hold them together, that chest ooh, contracts. All right, so let's rock and roll. Set of 10, this is our second set, and here we go. One, two. Now, when I'm training by myself, I don't go four. I'm, I'm counting in my mind, five, six, and at the same time, I'm feeling these muscles work, seven. I'm calling this number eight, and number nine. Let's get 10. Oh, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. Am I gonna lean back and get it? Absolutely not. I'm gonna go, oh, that's it. That's a good rip. I don't want anybody to be cheating on this. If you cheat on these exercises, guess who you're cheating? You're cheating yourself. Okay, so if you can't make it, don't cheat because you're going to hurt your lower back. In fact, that didn't feel good for my lower back just then. Okay, so here we go. Number nine, and can we get ten? We're trying. Ugh. Good set. Don't want to see any of this cheating. Awesome. That takes care of your front deltoid right here. Now we got this muscle in the back, Mr. Ugh. Mr. Rear Deltoid back there. How are we going to work this, Roger? We're going to do what's called rear deltoids. Rear laterals. I'm going to do this without any dumbbells. We'll just make a fist. Now, this one's challenging because what we have to do is bend over. We're going to take these dumbbells and let me see if I'm going to give myself some room here. Okay, right here. Boom. Uh, bent over. 
boom, we're at a different angle. It's like we're doing side laterals almost, but in a bent position. And we're not bringing it back. We're bringing these dumbbells right up here. Bam. Bam. Now, what we don't want to do is use momentum. In other words, let's, let's go for a setup. These are called rear laterals. So let's bend over. Okay. Dumbbells in the front, and we're going to the side. Boom. Let me find the perfect place for me. Okay. I got just enough room. Boom. What we don't want to do is momentum. That's not working nothing. Okay. What we want to do is bow right there. Bow. And I'll try to give you a shot of rear delts. Okay. When I come up, you might can see them at the very top. Like that. I hope so. Okay. That's what we're working. And once again, let's call this eight, number nine, and number ten. Ah. Woo. Okay. That one is kind of turns into compound movement in a way. We're still focusing on those rear delts. That's the first set. We'll give ourselves 60 seconds. Heidi, do you have another question about rest time? Well, can I walk? Can I walk around? Should I stretch? What should you do in between sets? Whatever you feel like. Uh, in fact, Right now, thank God we got a, we, we got a minute because I'm a little bit winded. Can you tell? Okay, so I'll catch my breath. I'm watching the clock, and uh, generally around a minute, about 60 seconds, I'm ready to go for the next set. All right, so I'm going to call it about 60 seconds. I'm going to grab my dumbbells, bend over laterals, rear laterals, and on this one, I put my feet together. On the other two, side laterals, feet are shoulder width apart. Front laterals, feet are shoulder width apart. When it comes to these rear laterals, feet together. Bend over, head up. Bam. Two, three, four. Working those rear delts. Five, six, and seven. Come on. Eight. There's nine. Here's ten. Boom. Woo. Awesome. Shoulders are done, homies. <clears throat> Those work the shoulders. Fantastic exercise. Everybody can do these at home. Buy you some dumbbells, whatever size you want. And if you're a beginner and all you can find is two pound dumbbells, that's fine. Work two pounds. I don't care if you're a 200 pound quarterback. If you've never done it before, grab some any kind of dumbbells. And let's get this form down. Side laterals, front laterals, rear laterals. Bam! Right there. Fantastic. All right, homies. Larry Fish, thank you for being here. Heidi Martin, thank you for being here. I'm Roger Del Martin, and this is Grit and Gristle.